everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Janvi and a very happy Women's Day to all of you. And in today's video, I'll be discussing top eight women-centric books. Most of these books are written by women and all of them are about women. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. So my first recommendation is We Should All Be Feminist by Chimanda and Gozi Adichie. So uh, this book is a very, very thin book about, uh, I guess, 50 to 50 pages book. And uh, I would highly recommend all of you to read this book because uh, mostly all of us have misconceptions about the word feminist. And I think uh, Adichi explains it very well in this book. It is based on a TED talk delivered by her. And I will uh, leave the link to the TED talk in the description box below and you can go and check that out too. This book actually goes on to explain what the word feminist actually means and why we should all be feminist. Why is it so necessary in today's world for all of us to be feminists? And this is one of the most inspiring books that I've ever read and reread again and again because it's really thin and it's very easy to read. But I would highly recommend each one of you, whether you are a woman or a man, to go out and read this book because this will actually explain you the real meaning of the word feminist. The next book that I want to recommend is Lean In by Sheryl Sandberg. Now, Sheryl Sandberg is the COO of Facebook and she's a very successful woman. In this book, she talks about women in business and the challenges that they face. Uh, it talks about the questions that are only asked to women, like how can you have it all? How can you manage your work and your family at the same time? It talks about work-life balance. It talks about her personal struggles um, as a woman in business. And it also gives you a lot of statistics about the women in business all over the world. So it's a very, very inspiring book. So if you're someone who wants to learn on how to have a work-life balance, this book is for you. It's very, very inspiring. Her story itself is very inspiring. So I would highly recommend all the women out there to go out and check this book out. So my next recommendation is How to Be a Boss by Lily Singh. Uh, this is one of the most easiest book to read out there. So if you're someone who's just a beginner in reading, you will love this book. It has a lot of pictures uh, of Lily Singh specifically. So if you're a Lily Singh fan, you should definitely check this book out. So this book is not an autobiography or a memoir by Lily Singh. It is a non-fiction book where she gives basic advice, basic self-help uh, advice to the young generation, to all the women out there. So this book is basically divided into four parts. The first part is master your mind. Second is hustle harder, third is make heads turn and fourth is be a unicorn and there are several lessons out there in each these in each of these categories. Uh, most of the time self-help books get boring but trust me this is the best self-help book that you can go on and read because it's it's very fun to read and she has made all these things so simple and so straightforward that you're going to love it. So if you're a beginner in reading, I highly recommend you to go and check this book out. So my number four and five recommendation are very similar. Number four is Wonder Girls and number five is 30 Women in Power. Wonder Girls is basically success stories of young girls who fought it to do their way. And uh, it has stories of about, uh, I think, 15 girls who they did big in their career and uh, these are very inspiring stories and you can uh, go and check these out if you're someone who finds it difficult to read thick books and to finish a complete novel you can try these short stories about uh, these wonderful girls from millennial generation and it will inspire you a lot and the next book fifth book is 30 women in power their voices and their stories uh, so it has 30 stories of very powerful women specifically in India and it is very similar to this one uh, both of these books have uh, people from women from India specifically and the best part about reading these two books is that when you read all the stories you realize that there is something common in all these stories and it, it can be different for everyone whatever you can interpret from these books but it has had a huge impact on me i would highly recommend these two books to all the women out there uh, this will really inspire you and uh, if you're someone who finds it difficult to read thick novels this 
these are the two books that you need to pick because you can read short stories from these two books so the next book that i want to recommend is big magic by elizabeth gilbert uh, this is a kindle edition and it is a very inspiring uh, book uh, it talks about creative living beyond fear uh, it is basically about creativity and it tells you that we have so many treasures around this around us and within us that we need to uh, be aware of it also talks about that we need to be creative in whatever we do whether we are writing a book or we are cooking or we are getting ready for a presentation why creativity is so important uh, Elizabeth Gilbert also talks about her personal like life experiences which are very very inspiring so I would highly recommend you all to read this book because creativity is something that is very underrated in today's world and we need to learn about it we need to see how we can implement creativity in our day-to-day -day lives to make our lives better so the last two books are my absolute favorite both of them are autobiographies of very strong women so at number seven we have Becoming by Michelle Obama. I've already talked about this book in my previous video but uh, I highly recommend it and I also told you that this book is like really thick and I never thought that I'll be able to read uh, through it but it is very very inspiring. One of my favorites Michelle Obama is a very candid person and in this book she has told about everything her failures and her success stories. Most of the time uh, what we see uh, as a successful woman we do not know that what were the challenges that she uh, has faced in past and in this book you will uh, come to know about all the challenges and all the difficulties that she has faced and how she overcame to become what she is today so becoming Mich uh, michelle obama is my is is on my highly recommended list so number eighth book is a book that i haven't read yet i'm still reading i just started reading in fact um it's unfinished by priyanka chopra jonas uh, i think this book does not require any explanation because priyanka chopra is one of the biggest inspiration in my life so i would highly recommend you to take out some time and read about her life she has an amazing story that inspires so many young girls from our country and from all across the world so make sure that you take out some time and read this book as well so those are my top 8 recommendations on 8th of March that is Women's Day. So uh, make sure that you read all of these books and help them in their journey of empowering women and making and help them to make an impact on this world because that is the best way to start doing it. Wishing you all a very happy Women's Day. Let's work together to make positive changes in this world for everyone. Uh, happy reading and see you in another video next week. Until then, goodbye.